Unpack the base and depth. The entry, fade the X, the entry into the slot on the base, so that the flexible flat cable pins are perfectly inserted into the slot of the X, the entry on the base, with the embedded screws on the profile. To use the other parts, install a fader plate on the gantry, and install two rollers, and the other fader plate on the gantry. Tight and screws. It for the feeder on top the man lock with attached screws. Note, the filament drawn out sensor should be on the front side. Connect the flexible flat cable. Connect the Z-axis motor. Connect the Z-axis motor. Connect the filament drawn out sensor. Keep the wheels on on a side from pressing on the aluminum profile. Loosen the swing screw that fix the V-axis carriages on both sides and tighten again. Repeat the same operation on the other side. Adjust the eccentric wheel of the heated bag with a hexagon wrench loose or tighten the knob or slider. Connect the power cable, power on and wait for your printer to be started. Put consumables on the fader and insert the cable through the filament drawn out sensor down into the bottom, per pulling out the handle. Change I am on the home page. Wait until the nozzle is heated. Click to continue fading. Observe the material discharged from the nozzle and clean up the extruded material. Do not touch the nozzle to prevent burns. Return to the home page and click Tools, Heat, Bed to heat the heated bed to 6KC. Return to the home page and click Tools, Manual. Put a sheet of phosphor paper between the heating head and heated bed. On the touch screen, move the heating head to four corners for leveling. Turn the leveling knob to adjust the distance between the heated bed and heating head until the upper paper can be freely moved with only a small amount of resistance. Repeat until 5 points are correctly leveled. To return to the home page and click Choose More. Auto level after the automatic leveling program ends. Click EPROM to save. Note when the nozzle wraps the bottom plate or is too far away from the bottom plate, adjust the distance between the heating head and the bottom plate with the 0.025 and the 2.025 buttons and test by sliding a sheet of a full paper until the distance is appropriate. 
Click EPLOM to save. Insert the accompanying USB flash disk into a computer. Open the USB flash disk and install the splitting software. How to make a curl? Open the software and add a printer. Select Artillery, Artillery Genius, and click Add in the set code of splitting software. Insert a line below G28 and enter the code M420S1010 to start automatic leveling compensation. Import and split the FTL type mode. Watch the splitting video for splitting details. Export the code file to the USB flash and get ready to print. Insert the USB flash disk, click, print, and select the file to be printed. Wait for printing. After printing, wait until the heating bit cools down to the room temperature. The mode will automatically fall off from the heating bed.